Hi. For this video I want to show you how to create a quick zip file with a set of nested folders. Now the computer skill requires you to create three folders. The first one will create new folder and we'll name that one project. And then inside of the project folder we need to create two subfolders. So we're going to create a new folder inside of that. Subfolder is what we call a folder inside a folder. We're going to call this one budget. And we're going to create another one. And we're going to call this one um, notes. I'm trying to remember what I put in the assignment. Okay, then inside of these folders we need to put some files. Now I've made mine up in advance. I've got a project description and that just needs to sit in the project folder. And then a costs file, it's an Excel file, needs to go into the budget and meeting minutes needs to go in the notes. And it doesn't really matter what you put into these files. They're just placeholders to show you can do the computer skill. Now, I've got my folder with my nested folders. If you're in Windows 7, here's something that you can do if you don't see the view the way I do. You can go into Organize and then change your folder options in here. And if we go into um, the various items we can set, the one I want you to set here is this one that says under the General tab, Automatically Expand Current Folder. What this does is over here in the left hand pane where you've got all this stuff about favorites and desktop and computer, when you open a, pro a folder, like I've got this project one, it automatically shows you what the subfolders are. And see, I've got this project folder, it's got a budget and notes subfolder, and if I go into one of those, you'll see my costs Excel file, my notes, you see my mini meeting minutes. And in the project here, I can switch this view to uh, list. You see I've got budget folder, notes folder, and the project description. Anyway, when that's all done, I can do one of two things to zip it up. I can just right-click, send to compressed zip folder, and that makes the project zip. Inside the project zip, I can open up a project folder, and see I've got my budget and notes, my budget file has my Excel file, my notes folder has my meeting minutes, my project description is inside the project folder. I can then close this and send this to someone by email, upload it to a SharePoint site um, or an Angel or something like that. So whatever you want to do. The other thing you might do is if you've installed an archive program like this week's uh, website of the week suggests, you may have some item here like 7-Zip where I can choose things like compress an email, add to project zip, compress to project zip and email. Here I'll delete my zip file and show you how that works. Here instead of going uh, with the send to compress folders, I'm going to compress to project zip or add to project zip rather because I don't want to email just now. See and that does exactly the same thing. I've got the project zip. I open it up. I've got my project file folder. Inside of that there's budget notes and project description. Budget has the costs. Notes has the meeting minutes and project description is in there. So it's important to know that when you create a zip folder or a zip of a folder that's got nested folders within it, the folder structure, the tree structure is going to be preserved and all the files are going to stay where they are. So then when someone unzips this, let's say I was a person receiving it and didn't have the project folder, so I'll delete that. I right click and can extract it with 7-zip. Um, Exact extract here. I've got my project folder with my budget and notes. If I hadn't extracted it that way, 
in Windows 7 I could also have just selected open and dragged the folder out and then I would have it same thing budget notes project description anyway that's our video for the week I hope this helps